Good morning students. Let us revise today's new topic addition and its concepts and their important properties. So let's start. Yes, addition. What do you mean by addition? Yes, it is a process of keeping the number, keeping the things together, keeping the number together, keeping the objects together. Process of keeping the things, objects, whatever it's together. So this is what we called addition. So I will explain using some examples. Addition is the process of keeping the objects together. I'll explain using some small examples. So before going for the example, I'll tell you one thing. Always use the calculation. Always start the calculation from the right to left. How we will read the place values like 1, 10, 100, right? From the right to left. So we should start the calculation from the 1's place. 1, 10, 100, like that. So I have a number here. So today's topic is Alicia and it's 275. If we have a number like this, 275 plus 30. Okay, one is three digit number, the other is two digit number. So if we got this is in a vertical line, right? In a sleeping line or it, it is in vertical way, we have to keep it horizontally. See, always keep the one space number in ones. Then tens place number tens like this is the way we have to keep the digits. Then let's start from the right side. So five plus zero what is five. Seven plus three is ten. But don't keep the two digits ten here. Always one rule is that we have to keep only one digit here. If it has like two digits, if the result is after adding, we got the sum that is. 10 it is 2 digits, so we have to keep the 1 space number that is 0 here and the 10 space number above the next. Okay, so 2 plus 1 it is 3, 305. And one more thing I would like to inform you that the number we are adding is what we call addends, and the result we are getting after the addition is what we call sum. So the number we are adding is what we call and yes, and the result is what we call sum. So 275 and 30 is the index, and the result is 305. Got it? Or we start the calculation from the right side. Keep the start writing the number from the one in strengths like that order. Okay. So this is about the concepts of addition and how to do addition. Then we will go for the main and the important properties of addition. So the first and the most important property of addition is zero property of addition. Zero property of addition. So in the zero property of addition, what do you mean by zero property of addition? Yes, if I keep add a number with zero, the result is that number itself. For example, zero plus zero, what is the result? Zero. 0 plus 10, the result is 10. 0 plus 1000, the result is 1000. 0 plus 1,50, the result is 1,50. So whatever the number, if we are adding with 0, the result is that number itself. I will write for example for you, 0 plus 82. What is the result? 82. Or we can see 7,234 plus 0. The result is 7234. This is what about the property, the first property, the zero property of addition. Then comes the second, order property of addition. Order property is always known as commutative property. For an elementary class, commutative, no need of this term commutative, but for the middle class of words, for the higher grades, Instead of order property, we will use the term commutative property. So, what is this order property? If we change the 
order of the atoms, nothing will happen. The result will be same if we change the order. For example, 70 plus 92. So we can write for the easy calculation how to give the numbers. We have to give the numbers in horizontally. 70 plus 92. 0 plus 2. 2. Then 7 plus 9. See this is the last number. So after we are getting the 2 digit number, we can keep the 2 digit number here. Why? Because there is no other number for calculation. Okay. If any other number, we can't keep the 2 digit number here. We have to keep the 1 space number. And the 10 space number, we have to keep it as carryover. So, 9 plus 7 plus 16. 162. Then go for, can we change the order? Yes. We can keep 92 first, then 70. 92 more 70. What is the result? Again, we will get the same result. 162. This is what I said. If we change the order, the result will not change. This is what about the order property? The another term for the order property is commutative property of addition. And the third one is grouping property. That means associative. This is what we call associative property. That means if we have a two numbers, usually in horizontally we can add, right? And if we have more than three numbers, three or more than three numbers, what you will do? We have to group and then we have to add. We have to group, make a group of two numbers first, then we have to add, then around with the result, we have to add the next the third number. I'll give one example. 20 plus 300 plus 88. So we have a number, we have three numbers here. 20, first number, then 300, then 88. So how to do this? First we can make a group of two atoms. Okay. So first I make two, 20 and 300 as atoms. And I am going to add this. 20 plus 300, the result is 320. Then one more number is there where we have to add with the result. So 8 plus 0, 8. 8 plus 2, 10. Again 0. Carry over 1. Then 3 plus 1 is 4. 408 is the result. So if I am going to change the grouping, does anything will happen to the result? Let's see. Here again, 20 plus 300 plus 88. In the second method, I am going to grouping the last two numbers, 300 plus 88. Whenever if there is any bracket is there in the series of number, what do you have to do? You have to solve the bracket first. Okay? So, 300 plus 88. What will be the result? 300 and 300 plus 88. It is 388. Then one more number is there. What is this number? It's 20. So add this 20. Then 8, 0, carry over 1, it is 4. See, 400. The result is same. This is what is about the grouping property or the associative property of addition. If we change the group, nothing will happen. The result will be same. So this, these are the three important properties of addition. The first one is zero property. The second one is order property, otherwise known as commutative property. And the third is grouping property or we can say associative property. So I hope you all understood the properties and the concepts and the important terms of addition. Good luck.